we're going to hop over here. Well, actually, let me show you where you can find this. First off, this is a change that some may have noticed, some may have not. If you're new, maybe you didn't know this. But this whole banner right here has been updated. And right here it says Daily God's Rewards. So they've built this in in preparation for us being able to earn rewards and God's tokens daily. However, we don't know how long, how far away this is actually going to be. So they posted this. If you have not clicked here on State of the Beta and took a look at this thing, you can click it and it will pull you up to this article. Now this did come out uh, five days ago, but I haven't streamed really since it came out and didn't have enough time yet. But so some people still may have missed it. So I figured I would go ahead and cover it. So I'm not going to read word for word all of this. I've already read it, but we're going to go through what significant updates are happening. So there's this play to earn whole part where they're talking about that. The expanding the team is where it gets interesting, where if you are bullish or an investor on Immutable X or Gods Unchained, as they are both the same development team, this is uh, some good news. They've had a lot of money raised here recently. So because of that, they've been able to bring in new team members and they've brought in some interesting ones. So the first one is their new head of community, Kelsey Gamble. Kelsey worked at Bethesda Softworks. If you know anything about Bethesda, that is a video developer, video game developer uh, who is responsible for titles, their main title, I would say, Skyrim, and the all of those works so big company that she's coming from to the gods unchained team they also hired a new head of esports this is something from when i first started covering gods that i was saying this is the perfect game to start getting heavy into esports they got james flesher who is joining them from esl which i'm not familiar with esl they are going to try to kick off a worldwide gods unchained tournament which will probably be like the first or one of the first worldwide global nft tcg tournaments and you can see it's going to have a large prize pool so we don't know when that's coming but we know that they hired somebody specifically to head that team. So they are working on it. Now they also have Justin Hulog, who joined. He's the new head of studios. He's from Riot Games. Riot Games is responsible for a lot of household name games as well. So another big add-on. The Daily Play to Earn... You read all through here they're gonna they'll talk about what the idea of the daily play to earn is you can reliably count on prizes landing in a consistent time frame as well as combining stricter security and clever skill based gameplay requirements that allow players to earn and bots to starve sadly the next iteration of this is going to take some time daily play and earn is likely not going to land before the middle of the year if we want to do it right so we know the daily play to earn is not coming until maybe midsummer, but more likely towards the end, probably Q3, Q4 of this year. So this is a little sneak peek of how the daily play to earn is going to play out, and you'll be able to see a full prize pool breakdown, nice little claiming menu. So they've got it in the works, but it's going to take a lot. And then they talk a lot about automation which all of these automations that they want to put in the chain uh, and, or in the uh, project on the back end, you know, that's not really my expertise, but you can learn about all of that. They're going to automate everything to where we're basically going to be getting packs the, the day of, uh, like the weekend rank ending, or, you know, as soon as possible, instead of where we've been waiting you know, a couple of days to maybe Thursday or Friday following the past weekend event. 
this automation stuff that they're putting in is going to make it a lot quicker. And it's also going to help on a lot of the back end, keeping the bots out, things like that. Oh, there's a little bit of interesting stuff right here in the minting and migration. So some stuff is sitting on the layer one still. They are talking about the Genesis chest that are there. And they're working to get everything on to layer two. They don't want anything on layer one anymore. They said they're not going to do any uh, chest for divine order. Divine order is almost locked and almost out. Uh, I believe it seems to be close to being out. Definitely close to being locked. But the new expansion that is coming out will more than likely have the chest, which we'll get into the new expansion here shortly. Now, actually, it says it right here. This is the pipeline, but won't land before our next set launches. And then, of course, trinkets, boards, card backs, all the little other NFTs that you see in the background of people's games, those are being uh, brought over to the Layer 2 as well. Now the, the Shining Fusing, not the Shining, I should say the Shiny Fusing, or Shine Fusing for core cards, and that is where you mint five meteorite qualities to make one shadow quality you meant five shadow quality nfts to mint a golden nft one golden quality nft and then it would take five golden quality nfts and this is all the same same nft and be able to mint them to one diamond nft the highest quality in gods unchained that is not out all you can do is just forge the core cards from the regular packs into meteorite quality. But they're working on it. But they won't have this up before the next expansion launches. So there's a couple of different things that are not going to be out. But we have another expansion, a whole other uh, set. Which that will be part of the weekend rewards instead of divine order that is about to come out that they're alluding to. So one of the big things I've been waiting on is staking. When are we going to be able to stake these gods tokens and make some cash flowing income? That's the beauty of staking is building cash flows. Or in this case, gods flow. Yeah, we'll work on that. That sounds terrible. <laughs> but anyway, when is the staking and governance coming? They said this is the next step. But it will require a bit of time and resources to build out, and it's because of the shift of the whole ecosystem. This is a breakdown of where the gods for the staking will come from, and basically gods that is spent in the forge will contribute to this. So it costs the gods tokens to mint up uh, quality cards, meteorite quality uh, NFTs. And then as well as 20% of pack purchases. So with that new set coming out, before any of this is done, 20% of those pack purchases will go uh, to funding the staking. So obviously the staking is not going to be anytime soon. And they even say this right here. They are fuzzy on the dates as it will impact the price of gods. Now, the reason they are very fuzzy and they're talking about the price impact of God specifically on here is because they are planning on purchasing a whole bunch of God's tokens for the staking. You know, however they're going to do it with Ether or USD or IMX, whatever. That is a big thing because if, they're going to be they're they're not going to buy God's token all at once. They're not going to go in and buy millions of God's tokens. That would automatically make the price spike. They can't do that. So they've got to figure out a way to buy the tokens without messing with the price too much. And in the stock market, they do this all the time. The big institutions they buy small amounts at a time. No matter the case here. 
they are going to, they are admitting that they have to buy God's tokens at some point. They have to buy them back from the marketplace. When that happens, more than likely, probably cause some type of price fluctuations. So then on to the next expansion. We just got the core set. You know, I only have one, <laughs> I only have one Aether Snap. I need two Aether Snaps and two Aether Static Bugs so I can make my crazy broken magic deck just destroy the game even more. <laughs> and here we come with this new guy here. Uh, not love dogs. I don't know what is he, what is that red stuff in there. Has he got blood? That's a little weird. But anyway, big old fluffy snuggly boy here coming out. This is art from one of the new cards. Looks like it's Colonel Sniffles. Is on his way to save the meta. Pets, please, for good boy. <laughs> but this is the new set. It's coming out. And this is coming out soon. The final major expansion set for Season 1, Champions Rise, is not far off. We're targeting Q2 for this set. And Q2 is only, what is it, 16 days away? We are coming to the end of Q1 now. Next month or month after that, you know, somewhere April, May, maybe June, July, this set is going. This new expansion is going to be out. I think sooner than later. The way that they're speaking about it and how they need this set sells to push the game further. And then the rest of this little FAQ. They were talking about the sealed mode coming along. This is something that I was not really aware of uh, before I saw this article. So the sealed mode, basically in most TCGs, if you don't know, it's just where you get product that's sealed and have to build a deck out of it. So I'm not sure how they were going to do that exactly. Uh, I mean, you would just get the packs probably the same way you do now. But it is in deep freeze. So the seal mode is not coming anytime soon whatsoever. That is that is on deep freeze. Um, mobile, that's the other question people are asking. Of course, we want to see the mobile come out. But they have ran through here. Recent scaling challenges. The mobile team was thrown into the breach to get us from 6k daily active users to our peak of 55k daily active users but the game has to scale and be re reliable for mobile to succeed so they're in the process of supercharging their mobile development by bringing on a co-development partner or partners to speed up the mobile development so probably not going to come this year is what I'm guessing. There's too many other things like staking and uh, this new expansion set. They have to be balancing the cards constantly when the core set and the new sets together. I think we're not going to see mobile till next year. Does that keep the game potential from exploding? Yes, but if they're doing it the right way, Longevity is going to be more important than sudden jumps in prices if they want to survive. If you don't know, you do get a referral program fee for people uh, signing up with your God's Unchained link. So your friends, or if you've got your own media, social media outlets or whatever, you can copy your referral link which you just uh, think is right here and learn yet yeah, referrals you click referrals and come over here and you can send it to them either by copying the link Facebook or Twitter but as of now you earn 10% of the money spent by people you refer this incentivizes people to continue to promote the game and they've been really behind on the payments for these so if you've not seen any payments yet there's something they are addressing in the article here. They're going to get that all fixed up. And then as well, Trades on Immutable X have this 2% marketplace fee. If you've noticed that change, there's a reason for that. Partly to fund 
of course, the development of the Mutable X blockchain. But also, if you are IMX token holder when or token holder when they get this finished, you will be getting part of your rewards from this two percent marketplace fee. So similar to, I mean, it, it is staking, I guess, in a way, but instead of staking to a node validator or something, you're staking to receive uh, rewards, royalties from being a token holder and being owning a part of the Immutable X platform. Because when you own IMX tokens, you're part of the governance and all of that when it, when it comes out. Same thing with Gods Unchained. So this is another way. It's like, why are we paying 2% marketplace fees? Well, <laughs> if you hold IMX, you'll be getting money from those marketplace fees. So to kind of offset your own fees, you know, from trading NFTs and uh, other NFTs and Gods Unchained and all of that. But, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's, it's an in incentive uh, to hold IMX tokens. So that's all the updates, you know, a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. Biggest thing is this new set is coming up. This set will be buyable. The core refresher set you cannot buy packs of. Divine Order is the only thing you can buy packs of. There are a few Genesis chests and a couple Trial of the Gods chests that are left. But that whole process of moving them from the Layer 1 to Layer 2 has been a nightmare for people. So I wouldn't go that route. And plus they're expensive as hell. So... <laughs> This new set, we'll probably see quite a bit of money go into right out the gate, especially if the hype builds back up. Because we did lose some hype from all the issues with the weekly, the weekly God's Blessings event and that ending in that couple of week period where we had such a huge amount of surge of players that... There was bugs and all of that stuff. Well, a lot of that's been fixed now. They're they're able to handle more players. I think if they do it right, which in my opinion, they've been doing things right so far, I think the hype will come in on the release of this set if that is the next thing to come out, which seems, like I said, to be the whole basis. This new set's next, and then everything else will follow. This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally